This is a skill demonstration on the Alaris for the IV piggyback or the intravenous piggyback IV piggyback solution for an antibiotic administration. I'm going to look at my order. My order says that the patient is to receive a ceftriaxone one gram IV piggyback Q12 hours. I will need to take this medication. I will need to pull it from the refrigerator if it's in the refrigerator and allow this to come to room temperature for about 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to gather my supplies. I'm going to need my antibiotic. I'm going to need my secondary tubing. It comes with a little device here that allows me to also uh, hang it from gravity. I will need this for my Alaris. I will need uh, a label for my tubing. I will need gloves and alcohol, of course. When I pull my medication, I need to verify how long it takes for this to run. So looking at my drug book, it tells me for ceftriaxone that this drug uh, needs to run in from administer it over 10 to 30 minutes. So with this particular antibiotic, I know that this 100 mil bag, I will have to make sure that I run this right in within 10 to 30 minutes. I'm going to choose 30 minutes to run this medication, which means that my IV rate would need to be 200 mils an hour to get 100 mils per hour delivered in 30 minutes. So I have looked at my order, I have looked at my drugs in the drug book, I have gathered my supplies, I'm ready to go to my patient's bedside. Hello, my name is Nancy Huff. I'll be your nurse today. Your doctor has ordered for you to receive an IV antibiotic uh, administration. I'm going to be giving you a medication called ceftriaxone. It's a cephalosporin drug. Do any of those words sound familiar to you? Have you ever received an antibiotic? No. All right. Well, let me talk to you about this in just a minute. Would you state your name and date of birth? And I'm checking it against my MAR. Thank you, sir. I'm just double checking your medical record number. And it should, this shows you have no non drug allergies. Have you ever taken an antibiotic and had a reaction to it? Have you ever taken a medication called ceftriaxone and, or rocifen is also a uh, name? Do you recognize that? And have you ever taken that and had trouble with it? No, sir. All right, good. I'm going to check your IV site. Um, has there been any pain with this? Does it hurt you unduly? Do you feel any, any real burning or like the tissue is swelling or any kind of uh, unusual pain or discomfort from the side D side? I see my pump is running. My primary line is infusing according to the rate the IV was ordered. I'm looking at the site. There's no evidence of leaking. There's no evidence of redness. I see no swelling, no redness. When I touch it, it just feels cool enough where the fluid is running in, but the, the vein itself is not tender, not, not painful, uh, and my IV is infusing appropriately, so I've assessed my IV site. Although I've done my first check when I pulled my medication in the medication room, I'm also going to do three checks at the bedside. I'm checking with Bill Perez in his chart. Under septoriaxone, it shows that it is scheduled every 12 hours, uh, one gram in 100 mils and it is ready to be administered. That's my first check. I'm going to go ahead and put my tubing, connect it with my medication. So I'll take my tubing out. The first thing you do when you take it out is close your clamp. Okay. I'm going to take my medication. I'm going to disconnect the that port, then, then my antibiotic, spike it. So my second check would be ceftriaxone, one gram. I need to back. All right. I'm going to hang my medication. I'm going to prepare my primary tubing's wise site to take the. to connect my site with my clamp closed, my tubing dry, to my port. All right. I'm going to lower my secondary. This works by gravity. So I need to lower my tubing and then back prime it. So my saline of my primary is back priming my tubing. There it goes. And get the air bubbles through you see when the air bubbles finish 
the chamber is half full. I'm going to go ahead and close it because if I raise this again, what is in here will drain out. And I want to take the time to make sure I do my third check. Seth triaxone, one gram IV piggyback, Q12 hours. Seth triaxone, one gram IV piggyback, Q12 hours. For Mr. Bill Perez, who has no known drug allergies. For the Alaris to operate, the primary bag strip chamber needs to be lower than the secondary. To do that, you would use the extension um, that drops down the primary bag. And there are different ways you can do this, but you at least need to get your medication in there. drop it down and this can hang on the pole both this one and this one as long as my drip chamber is below the level of my primary my secondary is higher than my primary I would all go ahead at this time and label my tubing I need piggyback tubing needs to be changed every 24 hours the primary tubing is is every three days but because we are opening this and this is the intermittent infusions, I need to go ahead and label my tubing and be ready for uh, change in 24 hours. If I need to run two antibiotics, I can use it as long as the drugs are compatible according to the y site compatibilities. Uh, otherwise, I would need two separate secondary tubings for antibiotics. All right, I have done my third check. I'm going to set my machine now for, to run my secondary tubing. So now that I've got my appropriate tubing higher and my primary lower, I'm going to go to channel select. It offers me secondary. My drug, I can choose that. And we're using ceftriaxone. Here's ceftriaxone. And it asks you for your makeup. And I have, I'm double checking. It says my drug amount is a thousand milligrams, which is one gram, a hundred mils in my bag. And so it's confirming it. My next to enter. Now it wants to know uh, how long I'm going to take to run this. And remember, I said that this needs to run in, the bag I have needs to run in in 30 minutes. And it verifies my rate is 200, my volume to be infused is 100. This is like a backup, a safety check, so that after I enter my duration, it verifies the rate and volume to be infused that I needed. That is indeed correct. So if I had not done my third check, I could go back to my MAR at this time and do a third check. I've done my third check, so I'm ready to start. You look to see, does it drip? And this is not going to drip unless I open the clamp. So now I open the clamp, and you wait to see your secondary running. You look for drips, and there it goes. So this is dripping. It's running. This one is set to kick in when this one is finished, and my ID is good to go.